Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make digital handwritten notes on my laptop using OneNote. This is a really cheap alternative to buying an iPad and you only need two things. The first thing being a laptop or whatever you use at home and a graphics tablet which comes with a pen. So OneNote is basically a virtual notebook which you can download for free and I'll just start off by going through the basics of OneNote. So I've highlighted um, the notebook that I'm using which is my final year medical notebook and then you also have sections within your notebook and for me these are different specialties and then I have the pages which are within each section highlighted there. So now I'm going to plug in my graphics tablet and show you how I make my notes. So to start off with I thought I'd just show you that you can change the page colour on the view tab and you can also change the paper style. This is really useful for graphics tablet users as it forms a nice guide for where you should write. I prefer using the grid lines for note taking because it helps me keep my handwriting more consistent. And you can also change the colour of your lines. So now I'm going to move on to talk about how I actually write the notes. The most important tab you'll be using is the draw tab and I'll really quickly just show you what the pens and the markers are like. Here's the pen in different thicknesses and the marker in different thicknesses. And then we have the highlighters and personally I like to use the more muted colours. It's really good because it highlights underneath the text so it doesn't actually cover any of the text so it's really useful. The lasso tool is probably one of my favourite tools on here. You can easily move around bits of writing just to make everything look a bit more perfect or if you find that you've got things in the wrong place you can move your notes really easily without having to rewrite stuff. And you also have the insert space tool which is also really useful because if you find you want to add something to your notes you can make space really easily. When it comes to writing the notes, zooming in can really help with handwriting as it gives you more control over what you write and you can always move things using the lasso tool like I'm doing here. So it really can feel a bit unnatural making notes using a pen tablet if this is your first time but it does definitely get a lot easier over time and it becomes more of a second nature. To make writing on your tablet a little bit faster and easier it's probably best to make use of the buttons on your pen. So you can go to your settings on your device and find your tablet settings and on there you can choose what each button does. So there are so many options to choose from. You can choose whether you want your pen to become an eraser, you can choose whether you want it to become a right click or whether it will signal a certain command on your keyboard such as undo and you can even get it to signal for opening an application such as Google Chrome. I personally use one button as an eraser so you can erase without actually having to click on the eraser tool so you can just press it and your pen becomes an eraser. And my second button is a pan tool so with that button I can move my screen around and since I like to zoom in when I'm writing it's great because I can just stay zoomed in and just keep moving my screen around as I write and it just makes writing on pen tablets a lot easier. You can even customise settings on how the tip of the pen actually feels. So this kind of affects the pressure of the pen that you're using. And so if you play around these settings, you might find that you have a certain preference for this. You can also change the orientation of your tablet. If you also have buttons on your graphics tablet, you can change those settings here too. So on OneNote you can also add different shapes which is really useful if you make handwritten notes because adding boxes or other shapes to your notes can really break up your notes and make things look a little bit more structured. Another great thing about digital notes is you can add images and 
when you're using a pen tablet you can easily annotate those images which is really really useful if you're a visual learner. So I thought it'd be good to mention that there are loads of different ways to add images. So for Mac users, using Command, Control, Shift and 4 means that you can crop, copy and paste images directly onto your OneNote. This is especially useful because as far as I know, I can't crop my images on OneNote so this does that for me. If you are a Windows user, you might find the snipping tool quite useful because it can print screen and also crop at the same time, which is very similar to the shortcut that I just mentioned for Mac users. There is also a screenshot tool on the OneNote app itself, but personally this isn't something that I use a lot because I prefer using a keyboard shortcut because it's a lot quicker. So the next thing I want to show you is the tags feature and this is really really useful for studying because you can create your own tags and as you can see I have a few there such as ECG changes, um, antibiotics and chest x-ray findings. So you can add those tags to parts of your notes and then afterwards you can just search for that tag. This is especially useful if you find certain things hard to remember. So you can tag those things you find difficult to remember and then simply go through that tag before your exam. And so you can see me search for HLA and sometimes I find it kind of tricky to remember the different HLAs associated with different conditions. And so before my exam I can just search up the HLA tag and quickly go through my notes and test myself. So it's also really easy to search through your notes, so you can search through typed and written notes. Although it's not perfect at detecting your handwriting, but a lot of the time it does work for me. Another useful tip for organising your notes is making use of the subpages that you can create. So this is really useful for organising your pages because you can create one page as a main page and then create loads of subpages within that. And finally I'm going to talk about making lecture notes using OneNote. So as you guys are probably aware, a lot of us are having to move online for our lectures and for our teaching sessions. And so using OneNote alongside your Zoom calls is actually really useful. So all you need to do is go to the Insert tab and click on Print Out. And there you can insert your lecture notes directly into your OneNote. From there you can annotate your lecture slides as you might normally, where you can highlight and draw on the slides. So this is really, really useful to do because if you split your screen and have OneNote on one side and your Zoom call on the other side, you can make your notes alongside the lecture. And the best thing about it is it's really easy to search through your notes afterwards and you have everything all stored in one place. So overall, making notes on OneNote is actually really, really useful and I've been doing it for over a year now. It is something you do have to get used to which can be a bit frustrating at the beginning but once you do get used to using it, it can be really beneficial for not only your school notes but you can use it for loads of other things too. So for example, I use my tablet to fill out forms and I can email my forms to people now without the need to print things. I also use it for online tutoring, I use it to draw sometimes and I even use it to make these videos. So it's really, really useful and overall I would definitely recommend people use this method if you can't buy a iPad or a touchscreen laptop. The tablet I've used in this video is the budget Wacom tablet and it costs around £35 I think and it's definitely worth the invest and it costs nowhere near as much as other options you can pay for to make handwritten notes. So that's it, that's how I use OneNote to make my digital handwritten notes on my laptop. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please do subscribe and give the video a like and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.